TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman, this 10 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. We're looking at the Dow of 79 at 38,064. Making higher highs and higher lows since the uh, 17th of April low. We'll see if that can hold uh, all the way through to the end of the day and into tomorrow. That's going to be the big question for me looking at the S&P. The S&P is up 25.40 at 49.92 stumped down to the 49.53 area right on this Chapman Wave inside wedge target support line. Let's see if that's going to be able to hold. You really need to see the I would put it at the 5,048 area over the next uh, couple of days to really get some traction to the upside. We'll see if that's going to happen. QQQ index 100 trading up uh, 2.97 at 417.56. Had a really ugly three days Thursday, Friday, Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday of last week. Actually, the whole week was terrible. And now there needs to be some kind of a bounce attached to it. We're going to look at the IWM, the Russell 2000. That's the Russell 2000 trading at up a dollar point oh seven and one eighty four point twenty. It actually made a little leg A to the upside above Friday's high. That's kind of important. Can it hold is a big question. Hey, gold. Gold is down a little bit, down sixty three points at two thousand three hundred and fifty, right on the fourteen period, actually just under the fourteen period exponential moving average. Most importantly, what we're looking at is that there's a one to one to the downside. That makes I, I would actually put it at 23,33 is key support over the next couple of days in gold. Is that a spectacular move? You can you got to expect some kind of a pullback. Silver, I didn't do silver in the moment uh, when I was doing Tommy show just now. Uh, silver's down sharply, down 1.38 at 27.45, way under the 14 period exponential moving average. And it's a peak D in the weekly chart. So this really could pull back. I would say 20, uh, 2655 is going to be important support to hold. Let's go to high grade copper. High grade copper is trading up again. Oh, it's just pulled back. It's down 0.05 at 4.493. Uh, maybe it's also going to take a little bit of a breathing. Let's go to crude oil. Crude oil is, in fact, uh, down 72 cents. And that could be it. That gold and crude oil pull back here. But we're watching bonds, and bonds are still acting very poorly, down almost a half a point. We'll talk about that when I return from my Tiger Technician's house. See you in a few minutes. Check out Berkeley Paul Daily Newsletter. See you.